Now we will be preparing our sugar-free carisoprodol suspension that is typically used for short-term relief of muscle pain and discomfort. In this preparation, we'll be using our previously made methyl cellulose gel, which in this, in this suspension will be used to prevent caking or sedimentation. We will be making 60 ml of the carisoprodol suspension using an amber vial which has been previously calibrated to 60 ml. First, we will be adding our active ingredient, our carisoprodol, about three grams of the drug and placing it into our mortar. Next, we will be adding our artificial sweetener, Splenda, also to the mortar, about 100 milligrams of it. And then a few scoops of our blue food coloring. A few small amounts. Now that we've added the three ingredients to the mortar, we will triturate it using the pestle in a circular-like motion until all the ingredients have formed a fine powder and the color is uniform throughout. So continue to mix the three ingredients, including the food coloring, in a circular-like motion to make sure all the powders have are fine and are consistent. Then we will be adding 40 ml of our methyl cellulose gel to the mortar. Looking down to make sure we add exactly 40. And now we use that same motion to triturate this solution. You have to continue to triturate it until it becomes a, a jelly-like consistency in nature. You can use a little bit more force to make sure that it does become jelly-like in nature. And now that this is of a jelly-like consistency, we will transfer this suspension into our calibrated amber vial. Make sure it doesn't drip too much so we don't lose the drug. And using a rubber spatula, we are going to transfer this into our amber vial. Taking out the excess, make sure we do get the 40 ml of the suspension. And once we did get the 40 ml, we will add the remaining 20 ml of the methyl cellulose gel to make up th uh, the difference and to get the 60 ml of the carisoprodol suspension. So once all the methyl cellulose gel has been transferred to the amber vial, you may need to use a paper towel to wipe down the edges so that your label will be able to stick. So now that we've labeled the amber vial carisoprodol suspension, the patient will be able to take this medication 
for a maximum of 14 days, and this is due to potential microbial growth and degradation, and also problems with sterility. Mm -hmm.